So I want a pair of these, but I don't feel like paying for them. And if you know anything about the channel, you know I love doing DIY projects. So today we're gonna make a few of those with the help of a 3D printer, Lowe's, and my big brain. So what is the plan? I'm gonna try and basically recreate exactly what you saw in the picture to the best of my ability while making them super strong, holding at least 250 pounds each. As well, I'm gonna try and make it out of just wood and plastic and screws. So these are some of the designs that I came up with so far, some of which are much more complicated than the other ones. One of them uses just a 3D printed part and the other one uses some off the shelf PVC fittings from Lowe's. I don't think that the PVC fittings will work with the wooden dowel that I want to use without having some type of an adapter. So I think the first step is to see whether I have to use that 3D printed part or if I can use some stuff from Lowe's. So let's go to Lowe's real quick. All right, Lowe's let us down, but at least we got some lunch out of it. All right, I really shouldn't say that Lowe's let us down because... <coughs> I really shouldn't say that Lowe's let us down because it was what I was expecting that wooden dowels don't line up perfectly with the PVC fittings, even if they're the same size. So it would require a lot of sanding on my part to get the pieces to match up perfectly. And I still might need to 3D print some things anyway. So we're just gonna make this whole project 3D printed and wooden dowels. And before everyone starts spamming the comment section that I could just make these out of PVC, I know but I want something that is gonna be a little bit stronger than a completely plastic paralette. And I'm also just a sucker for aesthetics. Cala, aesthetics, eh, eh, eh. All right, let's get to designing these 3D printed parts with a sick 10 second montage. Boop, 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 boop. What, it can't, be, it can't be 10 seconds? We need watch time? That's how we get subscribers? Uh, all right. Uh, so instead, we're going to spend the next 30 minutes in an in-depth tutorial on how to 3D design things. Just kidding. Let's get into it. And just like that, we have this thing all printed out, assembled, and uh, test fitted together. It's looking really good, feeling really strong, both with twisting and with bending here and here. Not hearing too much crinkling, but that shouldn't be too much of a concern because the way that I designed this, the weight coming from the top should go directly into this wood piece and it'll go directly onto the bottom foot part. So the 3D printed parts are not seeing that much weight. So I'm gonna refine this design a little bit, clean it up, maybe make it a little bit stronger, but I think we're about ready to print out a bunch of these and get to assembling the final parallax. So now that we have a bunch of these guys and a bunch of these guys, just gotta attach them together. Make sure they're at a perfectly good 90 degree angle and then put the top piece on and then we'll be all done. All right, now we just need to turn this into two. And they're all done and they look great. Uh, you might notice I left a little bit of an overhang on the edge here, just in case I want to put another one of these 3D printed pieces on this outside edge to give it some more support uh, with this motion, but I don't think it needs it. It feels super strong, and if I hit it, it actually feels like a piece of metal. It kind of vibrates through. Um, so I guess we should just see how strong they actually are and whether they can take 250 pounds on them. So they didn't break with 250 pounds on them, which is a big thumbs up for me. 
I did notice a little bit of crinkling and they weren't super, super stable at 250 pounds. So I definitely want to add another one of these pieces onto the front here uh, to make it that much stronger. Uh, but you might be wondering why I made these if I have a pair of parallettes like this um, and a dip bar like that back there. And it's because there's a few exercises that I can't do on lower parallettes or a higher dip bar. Um, that easily and I only have uh, one dip bar back there Long story left it at work before COVID uh, But we're gonna do some of those exercises that I haven't been able to do very easily with these guys real quick and uh, See what I can do. So this extra height is gonna make it a lot easier for me to swing my legs through here If I'm doing something like an L sit to a handstand. Um, I haven't tried one for a very long time So let's see what I got Definitely scary, especially in this tight of an area. Um, let me give it another go. All right, that's a, a little much, I think, for me right now and in this space. Uh, so let me try another cool exercise called the impossible dip. Um, and that's basically a dip, but your elbow to your top of your shoulder uh, stays completely vertical the whole time. Let's see how it goes. No way I'm getting back up on that. The last exercises I want to try on this is an elbow Victorian cross. If you've never seen a Victorian cross before, um, that's what it looks like. It is quite a feat, uh, but doing it with your half your forearm on this bar makes it a lot easier than doing it on the ring. So let's see what I got. leg not bad but not great these things get a big thumbs up from me uh, it's crazy how we can take an idea on paper and get it into a finished product so easily with 3d printing if you want to print these for yourself the link to the SDL file is down below in the description uh, to my thingiverse also if people really want to do this themselves I might put these on my store John's gym uh, where I'm also selling these parallettes. Why did I create my own website? Uh, it's because Etsy kept shutting down my account anytime I tried to post these guys on it. So I figured why not spend my stimulus check on a fancy Squarespace website. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section and give it a big thumbs up for, I don't know, for me being cool. Or give it a thumbs down, I don't know, whatever. All right. Have a good one, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.